Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to get ready with you guys and I'm gonna use some really interesting brushes. You guys have heard about these. I have talked about one in particular on my channel. These are from RT, so I'm just gonna show you guys this little bag here. You see these? Look how cool these are. Now, I have already fallen in love with and talked about the Oval 7 on my channel before. This for foundation, for me, is the closest kind of finish you can get to a beauty blender without it being a beauty blender. I don't know what it is about these, but they are so nice. So this just glides over. These are made out of a special kind of fiber. I believe it's called Cosmo fiber or something like that. It's patented everything. They are so soft. But I have the bulk here. Do you see these brushes? Do you see these though? <laughs> There's so many of them. And I decided because Nordstrom now carries these that obviously I needed to get my hands on them, try them out, and do a full face with nothing but this style of brush. Eyeshadow, everything, even my brows. The brushes I have here are the Oval 10, this huge guy right here. I think this is the only one that I didn't use this one. The Oval 10, and then it goes to the Oval 8, which is slightly smaller. And then we go to the Oval 7, which I've had in my collection for a while. So you can see the sizes of those. Oval 6, Oval four, all of these are meant for different things. Like you can use powder or this or that, but just use them what you want to. This one is said to be able to use for eyeshadow. Girl, no, no, I'm not putting that on my eye. <laughs> um, but they are multi-purpose. So this one here is the linear three. And then there's one bigger, this is the Linear 6. You can see the difference in those. You can use these for eyeshadow application, nose contour. I don't contour my nose, so I didn't do that. But then also the Linear 1. This is gonna be the best one for brows and liner if you ask me. Then we have these two oddballs. These are both Circle 1 and Circle 1R. So Circle 1, this one right here is a flat base, and circle one, I think it's R, yes, has a rounded base. The resin that these are made out of are like reinforced. It would take so much pressure to snap these, which is one of my concerns whenever I had seen them. I was like, well, aren't those gonna break? I don't remember, I feel like it was like 40 pounds. I don't remember, so I don't wanna misquote, but it's a lot of weight you would have to do to actually break these, so don't be worried about that happening. And this is a pretty cool, this is the cleansing pad. This is made with micro, antimicrobial, I knew I was gonna say that wrong. It has approximately one million fibers per square inch, which will help gently grab and remove makeup products, everything. It does work really, really well, and then you can actually take this off and wash it. When you've washed it so many times, you do have to replace it, but they have like kits and stuff. I wanna show you how cool this is. This is the cleanser, and you pop that on there, and then take this guy. I use this one for powder, and I'm not I'm not kidding. This it takes everything completely out. It's so convenient, and it's gone. Like it's gone, and it smells good too. But anywho, I'm going to use all of these. Oh, not all of them. Most of them. I didn't use any sponges or any normal brushes on my face today. I wanted to see how these worked because. I've never used any of them other than the Oval 7, so I was very curious. And I have another batch of brushes to show you at the end. Ooh, ooh, I almost, how do I, I'm dropping stuff. Chaos. I almost forgot to show you this one. This is the one I'm most excited about. This is the palm brush, and this is what I use to put on my foundation. This thing is cool. This is so cool. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into me getting ready. And I'm sorry about the mowers, you guys. I really am, but I can't refilm these type of videos if they're okay, just because for my shoulder surgery, which is not until September, but I have to record ahead of time so that you guys won't be without videos, so I don't really have time to like re-record ones that are okay. So bear with me. If you can't watch it because of that, I completely understand. But anywho, let's jump into this get ready with me playing with new crazy makeup brushes. So this is so weird. I don't have a damp beauty blender. What is this? I'm gonna do my whole face with just these brushes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is new, I've never used it before. So this is the Palm. Look how big this is. I have and I have used the Oval 7. I love this brush. But look at the size difference here, and then it has no handle, but it has like this little guy right here you put your finger in. 
So I'm just gonna go to town. I'm using double wear and I'm just gonna kind of work it into the brush first. I don't like to put it onto my skin and then blend. I'm just, I just don't like doing that. So I'm gonna do it this way. Okay. It is so soft, you guys. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little bit much. Right off the bat, I can tell you, like I, when I say that a lot, I'm sorry, I'm always like right off the bat, right off the bat. Um, it definitely used less product. Like I still have all this left on here and normally, like that's how much I would put out for my beauty blender and that just kinda, I guess, sucks it up more than what I would think it does. Cause I still have some left on this little brush. I'm just kinda working everything around. But it blends out really nicely. So I would say that applied really well Everything looks really nice. I used less foundation than normal. I have a little spot on my nose. I totally burnt the crap out of my nose. I thought I had SPF on there, but apparently not good enough. But there's a little dry spot on my nose because I burned. But other than that, everything looks good. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and pop. I don't even know how much to put on. Like, because it's not going to get soaked. Okay, I'm just going to do this much. Because usually the Beauty Blender would soak up some, so I don't know how much to do. And then I'm going to use the Oval 4, it looks like this, to blend this out. Then I'm going to do a tapping motion. What did I get on my face? That's a little fuzz. So it's blending out nicely. I'm kind of like tapping and dragging just a little bit. I found that to be the best way. Right up against the lash line, I'm just tapping. All right, I'm going to use the Oval 6 to set my under eye and then the center of my face using diffused light. I'm just going to tap in here because I don't know how much to use. And then I am probably going to just set the rest of my face with my powder so that I don't end up separating. And then I'm going to go rest a little bit and hope that these people go somewhere. Like they have all this, like it's a huge area they have to do and they go right behind my house. <laughs> That's my luck. I'm just tapping this in. I actually need to do my cream bronzer first, so I'm gonna use my Soleil Tan de Chanel and the Oval 7. And I'm gonna see how this works. I'm just gonna pop this in here. And I'm gonna cream contour my face. And I meant to say um, that I was cream bronzing my face, not contouring but whatever now I'm taking the oval 10 and the born this way foundation I was gonna cheat and use like a <laughs> a pressed powder but I never use pressed powders so I'm gonna try to use a loose powder and see what happens I honestly thought this was gonna be terrible and it's not <laughs> wow no not gonna lie this actually looks really good kind of impressed right now I didn't know what to expect, so I'm happy. Now I wanna use the Oval 6 again, but I used powder on there. So I'm gonna take this guy, which is specifically made to clean the brushes. It's got this microfiber, um, it's like a rag almost. You can open it up and wash it. I can open it like this and you can take it off. But it also has a cleaner. I'm gonna take the cleaner, I'm gonna put it on there. Then I'm gonna take my Oval 6 that I wanna use. And I'm just gonna clean it so that I can use it for my blush, which is a cream blush. That's why I want the powder and everything off of it so that we don't get funky. But it's really nice that you can do this in between so that you can use your brushes for whatever you want to. So if you have one eyeshadow brush, you can sit here and do this. It literally takes everything off. I went to training for these and I was like, oh my God. They actually took this cleanser and a cleanser that I personally use. It's a really, like a lot of people use this cleanser <laughs> and they took it with um, foundation on a plate. And they took the other cleanser and let it run down the plate to see how much of the foundation it would take off. And then they took this and ran it down the plate. The other one did not move. This one, the foundation just slid right off. I was like, okay. So now this guy is good and clean. There's nothing on it. So I'm gonna use it to pop on my blush. So I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Chanel number 24 Le Beige blush. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna go right on the top here. I don't even know how much to use. Oh my God. I'm just gonna tap over top here. There we go. 
I am so flustered. I got so hot. I went ahead and turned the AC back on because like, you know, when you get just flustered, I was getting irritated with the people outside because I just don't have that much time. And then, um, I was getting hot. So I turned on the AC and I left for the moment. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're gone for the remainder of the video. But that blended that on really nicely. Not mad at it, not mad at it. And now I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna use this guy. I just want to have like a pinky kind of look going on and then I will, I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna use Show Gold from MAC and then I'm gonna go back in with the Oval 7. I'm just gonna take the tip right here and get it into the product and then put it on my face like so. I mean, that works really well. I'm kind of shocked. You know how long it's been since I've used brushes all over my face? Especially ones like this. I think they're cool. But now, if I go in with a kind of colorful highlighter, I like to also go in with a normal, normal colored one. So what I'm going to do is go in with my NARS palette and the lightest shade in this top corner. And then this guy, which you can use for lips, you can use it for concealer, you can use it for several different things, but I'm going to use it to spot highlight. And this is the circle one. So I'm going to take that and dip into that lighter shade. And I'm going to pinpoint this right here just have like that little ping but it to be like a more normal highlight so you don't have pink and nothing else i'm also going to take that down the center of my nose and the tip and my cupid's bow i'm buffing with the born this way powder <laughs> i know i said earlier Born This Way Foundation, that was an oops, my bad. I wanted to see if you can buff with it, and of course you can, you can do whatever you want to, but I will say it's a little bit more matte than I like, and it brought the foundation and everything down a little too much, like the shade of it, but if you're fair, it would be really nice. I'll stick with my Sicily from now on, but I, I use the number 10 again. And now we are gonna do brows. I'm so scared to do this, you guys. You don't even know. I'm gonna use this guy right here. Do you see this? I'm terrified. Okay, this is the Linear One. And I'm just gonna use my Anastasia powders to do this with, so bear with me. So I'm gonna take it on its side. I've got taupe on there. I'm just dipping in right here. This is so strange. And I'll flick upward here. Ooh, when I have surgery, I'm definitely not going to be able to use these. <laughs> this side. But I will say I did that brow so fast. Normally, I would use a pencil whenever I do this, but I'm not going to, just so you guys can see. And I don't have a pomade, or else I would show you what that look like with it. But I mean, this looks pretty good. It's not my typical brow, but it looks pretty good. I am gonna run some brow gel through them because I need these babies to stay up. And this is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. It's my favorite. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean that guy off because I know I'm going to need him later. Dang, it just came completely off. Like there's nothing. See that? Nothing. That's awesome. Now I have to use my Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use this one. So earlier I used this for my little spot highlight and this is the Circle One. It has a flat head on it so you can actually use this for like if you had a pimple. I'm not going to do it on my face because it has the highlighter on there. So you have the pimple and you could just like put it on there and then just move it around and it will spot conceal. It does it really well. This one is a little bit like of a dome shape on the end of it. So it's going to be great like in the crease. You can use it on your nose. You can use it here. You can use it for concealer as well, but the other one works better for spot concealing. So I'm going to take this one, circle 1R, and I'm going to get my paint pot on it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my lid. To prepare for some eyeshadow. Okay, I just cleaned both of these off. This just had paint pot on it and it's like completely good to go. 
That's awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna use these to try to attempt some shadow. This makes me so nervous, you guys. But we'll see what happens, because I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my star palette, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here first. I'm gonna pop this into my crease. I forgot that I wanted to set my eye with, I was like, why is it tugging a little bit? That's because I didn't set my eye with uh, Blanc Type. That's okay. To blend out the edges after everything is already in my crease, like the majority of the product, then just kind of flicking it upward. It's not as hard as I had anticipated it being. It would be even easier if I had set my eye with Blanc Type, but you know, there's that. I'm gonna take that same color on my lower lash line. Well, that does really well for the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this shade, same brush, I think it's called Supernova, and I'm going to pop that on my lid. Back in with the circle R with the flat end of it and I'm taking my highlight again and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner and my brow arch all right you guys this is how the look came out I've got to say I'm not mad at it I think it looks really really good especially because I am not used to not using a beauty blender especially under my eyes but I will say that my two favorites are definitely the palm brush and then for one that I don't have that oval four that smaller one for concealer uh, I can't find it now. This guy, I like him a lot. I like them all, but it's a learning curve for sure. The eyes are gonna be hard to learn. <laughs> but I also wanted to show you guys a another option for you. If you are somebody who likes to put, I'm trying to grab it, likes to put on your skincare with brushes, they also have the Digit Collection. And you can get all of these brushes singularly or in little kits and they are at Nordstrom now which is pretty flippin awesome so they have this so these are the digit collection you can see there's a few different sizes and everything but these have shorter handles so it's more like you know you put on your skincare with your hand so it's more to mimic that and then the white tips are different from the other brushes because these have a different kind of tip on them so these are made to not soak up your skincare so SC is in this for skincare but it's really really nice even like the time I don't know what I would do with this I mean I could apply my new lash with it maybe I don't know <laughs> this kit has like all of them so it has the top and, the, and there's the mowers again I'm so sorry I'm so flustered you guys can probably tell but then they've got the bottom as well like I said you can buy some individually you can buy some in bulk like that or in smaller packs but anywho that's it you guys I think these are pretty flipping cool if you ask me they did a really good job but I'm gonna get off here before these mowers dry me absolutely bat poop crazy okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one